Welcome to Math 154 videos. In this video we're going to be talking about the chain rule. And so I have that written up here where we have f prime of x where f is a capital F is a composition of functions. We have the derivative equal to this over here, which I like to always think about this as f prime is the derivative of our outside function and g prime is the derivative of our inside function. So let's take a look at an example. So this we have a capital H of x is equal to the sine of the tangent of x. So in this case our outside function f of x is going to be the sine of x and our inside function g of x is going to be tangent of x. Now it's kind of obvious what I mean by outside and inside functions now because you can see how the tangent of x is literally inside of the sine function. Right? So we have the tangent inside of the sine. So that's where we get the composition of functions. So h prime of x is going to be equal to f prime of g of x. Well f is sine of x so f prime is cosine but instead of x there Oh, like right here where we have sine of x, we're going to put g of x there because we want f prime of g of x. So our g of x is tangent of x. Then we need to multiply that by g prime of x. Well, we'll just write that down here. So we need to multiply that by the derivative of tangent of x. So that gives us the cosine of tangent of x multiplied by our secant squared of x. And that is going to be our derivative by the chain rule. So now we have another example where we have our k of x is equal to, and I'm actually going to write this right away, uh, x to the sixth plus 2x plus 1, all to the one-third power because I think it's a lot easier to look at our powers as fraction rather than having that big old cube root in there. So here we go now we're going to use the chain rule. So our outside function for our f of x, well our outside function is something raised to the power of one-third. So our outside function is going to look like x to the one-third and our inside function g of x well, that's going to be what's inside that power, that one-third power. So, g of x is going to be our x to the sixth plus 2x plus 1. All right, so now k prime of x by the chain rule, we're going to get the outside function derivative times the, er, with the inside function composed with it. So. The derivative of the outside function is just one-third of something to the negative two-thirds. Okay, so that's what the derivative of x to the one-third is, but we want that with g of x inside. So x to the sixth plus two x plus one, and then we want to multiply by the derivative of g of x. So the derivative of g of x is x, well 6x to the fifth, so we have power rule here, 6x to the fifth plus 2. Alright, and pretty much we don't need to do a lot of simplification because this already looks kind of nasty. Um, we could just distribute this one-third if we wanted to to that last term, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So 6x to the fifth divided by 3, that's just 2x to the fifth, and then plus a 2 over 3. And that looks good enough for the simplification, so there we have it. So this example we have is a little bit more complicated. Now we actually have a composition of three functions, f, g, and h. So let's take a look at this. Our outermost function here is, well, we can call that one f. And 
f of x is e to something, right? So we're going to call it e to the x, but it's e to the something. And that something is 2x plus 1 squared. So that in itself is also a composition of functions because we have 2x plus 1 inside the square. So our g of x in this case, our next layer, is x squared. So first we have e to something, then we have that something squared. And so our innermost layer is what is that something. So let's call that our h of x. And what is that something? Well, it's 2x plus 1. So now that we have our f, g, and h, we can go ahead and apply the chain rule first to f and g, then to g and h. So when we apply the chain rule first to f and g, we get our w prime of x is equal to, well, our f prime composed with g, so that's going to be our f prime is e to the x, right? f of x is e to the x, the derivative is e to the x, and instead of, instead of putting an x there though, we're going to put this 2x plus 1 squared. Then we need to multiply by the derivative of g. Well, the derivative of g is actually also a composition of functions. We have a 2x, or a 2x plus 1, and we have an x squared. So we're going to multiply this now by the derivative of x squared, which is 2x, but we're not going to put x in there. Instead, we're going to put whatever was inside of it. So what was inside? A 2x plus 1. All right, then we need to multiply by the derivative of h of x. So this is now our innermost function. So the derivative of h of x is 2, because 2x plus 1, take the derivative by the power rule, we just get a 2. All right, so from there, we just need to do a little bit of simplification. So we still have our e 2x plus 1, that's squared. Well, now we have a 4 times this 2x plus 1. So I'm going to do that over here. We have a 4 times a 2x plus 1, which if we distribute that 4, is an 8x plus 4. So that whole thing is multiplied by an 8x plus 4. And we'd like to leave it in this form. This looks the most simplified. So that's going to be our derivative. Now to recap what we just did, we took our outermost function f of x. We took the derivative, which was e to the x, but instead of x, we just left whatever was inside there. So we left e to the 2x plus 1 squared. Then next we took the derivative of what was up top, this thing, our 2x plus 1 squared. So for that, we needed a 2 because we brought this power down to take the derivative, a 2 times a 2x plus 1, because instead of putting an x there, we just put our 2x plus 1. Then this 2 on the end came from our derivative of h of x, which was 2x plus 1. And then we just simplified. So that is our derivative by the chain rule.